Are you looking for the best and in-meta modules for boss runs? Are you stuck on certain void intercept bosses? Or do you not even know where to start when it comes to choosing modules for your favorite descendants or weapons? Well, look no further because today I'm going to show you a method you can use that is extremely easy that will show you the top 10% of players module loadouts for every void intercept boss battle and keep you on the top of the meta as it changes with seasonal updates. But before we get into all of that, if you would be so kind as to scroll down and hit that thumbs up button and make it glow to reach our goal of 25 likes on this video. While you're down there, also consider hitting that subscribe button as it would help me out tremendously and so you can get more First Ascendant content and coverage of other AAA titles throughout the year. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. First and foremost, we're going to want to go to the game's official website from Nexon, which is tfd.nexon.com. This is Nexon's official website for the First Ascendant and is 100% safe. Once you're here on the landing page, what you're just going to do is scroll down just a little bit. Once you get to the place that says recommended module, you're at the correct place. It reads recommended module, check the module combination with the highest win rate in the current void intercept battle. Just below that, there's a button that says link. You're going to go ahead and click on that. Here, we're going to get this easy to use and interactive display to be able to choose what exactly we're looking for. Start off by choosing your descendant of choice along with whatever gun you're wanting to use or build up. In terms of finding weapons, on the left we can find weapons by sorting them by rounds used. And if we're trying to find builds for ultimate or rare weapons, we must click on standard at the very top and then click the corresponding rarity of the gun you're trying to find. In this case, I'm going to select Freyna as my descendant and the Python under Ultimate for the build I'm looking for. Next, after this, we're going to be looking on the right after choosing both of the previous parameters to select what difficulty and boss in particular we want to see or are stuck on. I recommend if you've beaten the campaign on normal and want to know the best build in general for all the bosses, since most boss builds with your chosen descendant and weapon will be the same, is to choose the very last hard mode boss available, along with also choosing the boss you're currently stuck on if you are stuck on one, and compare the two to be able to see what in particular you need for that said boss. The thing you'll most likely see as a difference is the elemental damage you'll be modding into a weapon since certain bosses have certain elemental weaknesses. After that, you'll have to choose a time period. If you want to see what is currently the top 10% meta-defining module builds when it comes to the boss with the most recent information, I recommend choosing the past 7 days. But if you want to see a consensus and mix of what could be a good and safe build for sure with a proven track record of being reliable, I would recommend choosing the past 30 days. You may see a difference in builds or not. It really depends if the meta has been shifting recently and you would be more likely to see new builds dominating in the past 7 days if a big update with nerfs or buffs to certain modules ever comes into play. After those sections are chosen and filled out, scroll down and hit search. After searching, scroll down further and you'll be reminded with this message. This is the recommended module combination for X weapon based on records from the top 10% successful intercepts used in X boss void intercept battles with X weapon and X boss being the weapon and boss that you chose to look at. What I personally love about this is that no one or no third party application is going to know who's been beating these bosses as efficiently as these guys are and what exact builds that they actually ran while doing so more than next on themselves. I'm assuming to be in the top 10% you have to have been a part of the player pool that beats the boss with the most time remaining on the clock still while also being a build that does a considerable or fair share of the damage themselves, because what would be the point of providing this top 10% build if they got carried by their teammates? Once scrolling down further, you'll see first a module loadout using every module slot for your descendant, and then below that, the weapon that you chose. These mods never show up as if they've had a crystallization catalyst used on them with the green numbers, or if they've had an energy activator used on the weapon itself or the descendants. It also doesn't show the total capacity slots used by the modules in the builds either. But with this being the top 10% of the players in the game, I think it's safe to assume that these builds are fully crystallized and energy activated. And if this is the case and you've just started building your character or weapon, or just haven't accumulated the resources in order to do so like the builds are shown here, and you can't slot every mod or most of mods due to mod capacity problems, make sure to prioritize some of the most important ones first, and Crystallization Catalyst is something you can use for both your bossing build 
and mobbing build if possible. An example would be most Ascendants use health percent or defense percent mods. Crystallize those first to be useful on both types of builds on your Descendants. And when it comes to weapons, most people have fire rate percent mods and firearm attack percent mods. So make sure to hit on those first in terms of crystallization catalysts as well. You'll want to go ahead and do this because most builds, even after updates and as the meta shifts, will most likely keep these mods as staples across major updates and shifts in meta. After that, prioritize leveling and putting on mods that make more impact on the build. If it's mods for an ability spamming Descendant, make sure to get a mix of some of the damage and cooldown mods needed to get the Descendant going, while slowly maxing out the damage part as you get more resources to pour into your Descendant. And if your weapons are prioritizing something like weak point damage, make sure to slot the mods in first that give you the highest percentage when leveled up. And then stack in the lower percentage gain in ones later to steadily increase your damage as you increase the resources you pour into your weapon builds as well. One tip to actually see what mods have the highest percentage when fully maxed out in levels is going to the person in Albion that actually levels up your mods. When there, select your mods you're trying to see which has the highest percentage and then use the arrows after you click on them to see what the percentages look like when maxed. That way you can see what those percents are without actually committing the resources to them. With these tips and the module recommendation system that Nexon has in place on its website, you'll be able to have the exact builds of the best players who have cleared any void intercept boss in the game. This will be true even across every major update the game has. Personally, I'm curious to see what this will tell us once the new intercept boss Gluttony releases and what the top players will be using when taking them down. But anyways guys, that's it for me. If this video helped you at all, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as it would help me out tremendously. We cover the first Descendant and other AAA games coming out throughout the year along with hilarious content, playthroughs, and more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to catch you guys next time. Peace!